Miss her. I do. Miss her. Within a week, Kathy's hand had been touched. Give you. Give. Oh my God. We didn't realize that it was diabolically infested. That just said killed, yeah? He killed his family. Horrible, tragic background of it. And, you know, how it's affected people. At first, just moving into the house was fine. It's a lovely house, yeah. and we enjoyed moving in. Uh, within a week, Kathy's hand had been touched by something that we discussed and couldn't explain. It was just something unseen. So guys, welcome to another video. I discovered a website in America that is selling artifacts from famous haunted locations and items associated with the paranormal. So I thought I'd give it a try. As you can see, this is supposedly a piece of wooden window frame from the Amityville Horror House. Uh, when we went into the house that day, we didn't realize that it was diabolically infested. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I would have to say that Amityville was a 10. Now, it is said that this piece of wood was removed from the famous house. So, my idea today is to do a little work with it. Use a couple of bits of equipment, see if there's any attachments, if you believe in that sort of thing. Maybe it will hold some energy from the, the horror and the evil that, that went on in that house with all the, uh, the murders from Ronald DeFeo. So, who knows? Just thought I'd do this little video for you. It's interesting for me. Hopefully, it is an interest to you as well. So let's get into it. So guys, let's get on to a bit of investigating. We're gonna try a couple of bits, see if it works, see if we make communication, see if any words come up. This is only an experiment. I'm not saying this is paranormal. If we get some relevant words, relevant responses to the object in question, then we'll go from there, see what happens. Is there an attachment with this piece of wood? from the framework of a window from the Amityville house. Is that what you're telling me? Attachment? So obviously I'm using this app just to see if any words come through, any relevance to the house. I'm not saying this is paranormal if it gives me words. It is a random word generator, the necrometer. I've used it before and it's been quite accurate. So thought I'd put it on and see what words we get. It's just all part of the process just to see if anything comes through that maybe we can delve deeper into. So this is apparently from the Amityville Horror House. Disagree, oh my God. Are you saying this is not true? Whoa, whoa. Well, that just sort of blows everything out of the water. I was saying this is supposedly from the house. Disagree. And I, I repeat that. So you're telling me this is not from the house. Comes up true. <sighs> oh, oh. You're saying you disagree with me. Interesting. Is this a piece of wood from the house at 112 Ocean Avenue, 
Long Island, New York. This is what we are working with today. Is this from the house? The Amityville Horror House. On November 13th, 1974, Ronald DeFeo Jr. shot and killed six members of his family at 112 Ocean Avenue, Long Island, New York. He was convicted of second degree murder in November 1975 and sentenced to six terms of 25 years to life in prison. DeFeo died in prison in March 2021. And in the December of 1975, George and Kathy Lutz moved into the house with their three children and the dog, Harry. After 28 days, the Lutzes fled the house, claiming to have been terrorized by paranormal phenomenon. On the night of March the 6th, 1976, the house was investigated by Ed and Lorraine Warren, a husband and wife team self-described as demonologists. Together with a crew from the television station Channel 5 New York. During the course of the investigation, Gene Campbell took a series of infrared time lapse photographs. One of the images allegedly showed a demonic boy with glowing eyes who was standing at the foot of a staircase. The house was also investigated by the parapsychologist Hans Holzer. The Warrens and Holzer have suggested that the house is occupied by malevolent spirits due to its history. The house known as 112 Ocean Avenue still exists to this very day, but it has been renovated and the address changed to discourage sightseers from visiting. The quarter round windows have been removed and the house today looks considerably different from its depiction in the films. The local residents and authorities in Amityville, New York, are unhappy with the attention that the Amityville horror brings to the town and tend to decline requests to discuss it publicly. Ronald DeFeo Jr. has always maintained that he was overtaken by demonic forces and made him murder his family. The house in Amityville made the news again in February 2012 when a second gun was found in the Amityville Creek directly behind the property by a film crew filming a documentary there. Today, police combed the DeFeo's handsome three-story house for clues while divers explored the backyard swimming pool for the still unfound murder weapon. Negative. So we're just gonna have a little go, see if we get anything relevant coming through. So, hello, if there's anything, any spirit, any sort of attachment, any memory to this piece of wood from the, from, from the house. Curse. Curse. Was the family cursed? So yeah. Such a tragedy that went on all them years ago. Ronald DeFeo. Killed. Oh my god. Did that that just said killed, yeah? He killed his family. Ronald DeFeo. Killed his entire family. Can you tell me when the window frames were replaced. What year did this piece of wood leave the house? Come on, tell me. Does this wood hold any pain? Any suffering? A poor family. 
of Ronald DeFeo Jr. Miss her? Who'd you miss? Your wife? Your daughter? Don't make twice. Don't make, don't make. Maybe Ronald DeFeo was struggling to overcome his natural instinct to survive and not kill his family. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, please. Did he say that? Is that the message they have just given me? Yes. This item, yeah, has come from the Amityville House, 112 Ocean Avenue. Right, so we're gonna have a little go on the Poltercom Pico spirit box. Just see if we get anything else. Again, it's another piece of equipment that we are using to try and gather information. Is it paranormal? I'll let you decide. Ronald DeFeo, come forward. What happened? Ultimate. You ever think? And there's no. There's no what? Seems good for you. Negative. Yup. Where was the house? All well, through to them. Goes to win. A pitch top. Mum. Give me something relevant. Uh, Anything you want to say? Come back, they won't. Come back. Down, Steve. Good. Down, Who entered the house? There, the two. The two? Two men? Is it two men? Who was the real killer? Thing. There was another game. So there we go, guys. What do you reckon? Does this small piece of wood hold any energy, any evil, any demonic, anything paranormal at all? I'll let you decide. Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I just thought I would bring this into the limelight to see what you think. It sparked an interest for me and I just thought I'd share it with yourselves. Let me know if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you're not subscribed yet. That would be awesome. Come and join the family. Consider joining my memberships. You get members only exclusive videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.